Hello my language learners. Welcome to my channel. I'm your teacher, Sir Lester, to make things easier and better. Just seeing you here means a lot to me. Our lesson for today is about compound and complex sentences. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to use compound and complex sentences to show cause and effect and problem-solution relationship of idea. Before we study compound and complex sentences, let us review first our lesson on clauses. A clause contains a subject and a verb. It can be an independent clause or a dependent clause. An independent clause can stand by itself as a complete sentence that expresses a complete thought. A dependent clause, on the other hand, is not a complete sentence and cannot stand by itself. To express a complete thought, a dependent clause must be attached to an independent clause. For example, even though I am tired, I am going to work tonight. In this example, the independent clause is I am going to work tonight because it can stand alone. And the dependent clause is even though I am tired. Now, let's talk about a compound sentence. What is a compound sentence? A compound sentence is made up of two independent clauses, joined or connected by a coordinating conjunction and a comma or sometimes by a semicolon alone. For example, I have a pet iguana, and his name is Fluffy. The two independent clauses in the given example is connected with a coordinating conjunction, and. This is an example of a compound sentence. Another example of a compound sentence is this. Amy drinks green tea, but Patricia drinks coffee. In this example, the independent clause, Amy drinks green tea, is connected to another independent clause, Patricia drinks coffee. The conjunction used is, but. Another example of a compound sentence is this. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Always remember that we can use a compound sentence to show problem-solution relationship. For example, you will face many defeats in life, but never let yourself be defeated. The problem in this sentence is you will face many defeats in life. And the solution is never let yourself be defeated. The coordinating conjunction used is, but. Another example. Maria wants to learn how to cook, so she watches cooking shows on TV. The problem in the compound sentence is, Maria wants to learn how to cook. And the solution is so she watches cooking shows on TV. The coordinating conjunction used is, so. Another example. Children in the neighborhood were becoming sick of respiratory diseases, so the Barangay officials planned out some actions. Could you determine which is the problem and which is the solution? You can pause this video while answering. Another example. Beth was late for class today, so she decided to set her alarm earlier. Could you determine again which is the problem and which is the solution? You're correct. The problem is, Beth was late for class today. And the solution is, she decided to set her alarm earlier. Another example. As heavy rains flooded the streets, the drainage system had to be checked. Could you determine again which is the problem and which is the solution? You're absolutely right. The problem is, as heavy rains flooded the streets. And the solution is, the drainage system had to be checked. Now, let us learn complex sentences. What is a complex sentence? A complex sentence is composed of an independent clause and a dependent clause. This structure may also be used to express cause and effect and problem-solution relationships. For example, even though I am tired, I am going to work tonight. The independent clause in the example is, I am going to work tonight. And the dependent clause is, even though I am tired. It is introduced by a subordinating conjunction, even though. Another example, John has been very happy since he passed his English exam. Why is John happy? The cause is, he passed his English exam. The effect is, he has been very happy. Another example. I bought Dan a present because it was his birthday. What is the cause? You're correct. It was Dan's birthday. What is the effect? 
The answer is I bought him a present. Always remember that a comma is required if the dependent clause comes before the independent clause. Take a look at this example. Since you are having a toothache, you are not allowed to eat sweets. The dependent clause, since you are having a toothache, is separated with a comma. The subordinating conjunctions because, since, so that, although, whereas, while, when, and even though are used to show the cause and effect relationship between ideas. For example, she cried because someone took her doll. Now, let's practice. Can you identify the cause and effect in this sentence? Joanna has to stay at home because there is a deadly virus. You're right. The cause in the given sentence is because there is a deadly virus. And the effect is Joanna has to stay at home. We can also use subordinating conjunctions if, because, since, so, so that, that is why, when, and even though, to express problem-solution relationships using complex sentences. For instance, you rest and sleep if you have a bad cold. The problem in the sentence is, if you have a bad cold. The solution is, you rest and sleep. All right. We are done with our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. Let's recap our lesson. A compound sentence is a sentence with two independent clauses or parts that were combined to form a single sentence using a coordinating conjunction. It can also express problem and solution relationship. On the other hand, a complex sentence can express a cause and effect relationship and problem and solution relationship. Thank you so much for watching this video lesson. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Sir Lester's channel for more videos like this.